In this video, I'm going to go through how I set up my three layer blend shader system for, for games textures. And um, here I've got a shader effects graph and that's mapped into a, a, a texture. And the idea is we use interpolation nodes with the different textures, the three different textures mapped to a red and a green and the black black being uh, no color at all and so um, the idea is that well here I'm painting so the, the green vertex color onto onto the uh, actual the, the mesh itself and that results in the texture allocated to the to green sort of coming through in the texture I switched the Lambert shade here just so you can see the actual the vertex colors and so I'm literally just sort of painting those directly onto the mesh I've switched back to the shader effects shader uh, you can see the effect and the next stage is to export this as an FBX to um, a folder so that we can import that into uh, Unity. So in Unity I've got a pretty similar setup where I've got a, um, a cascading lerp structure this is my uh, shader graph shader this uh, is the initial part which um, I'm using to derive the UVs. The UVs are in uh, world space coordinates. And uh, here are my uh, normal maps. You can see the cascading lerp structure, and um, and then uh, I've also got I've also got a similar structure here with my three uh, text samplers going to cascading lerp, and and also we've got um, a height map, a height map which is. Uh, linked to the textures too so that when uh, when the uh, the blended textures sort of hit the red texture we will get we'll get sort of those textures coming through in the cracks you'll see what I mean um, when, I, when I sort of I'll demonstrate on this uh, piece of mesh so here's the uh, the mesh that I've uh, imported from Maya and that's got my vertex colors on I'm just gonna set up the lights here get rid of uh, get rid of the the default environment lighting from the skybox and uh, just get rid of that uh, direction of light. I'm going to put in, this is going to be an indoor space because it's my dive bar. So I'm just going to put in a couple of lights here. So th this is just a sort of a, a generic sort of a pale yellow light, the default light. And I'm going to put in a, a couple more sort of dive bar -y, uh, sort of wilder colors. Uh, by, by wild, I mean like red and blue. So no, nothing, nothing like off the spectrum or anything. So I'll just uh, set up this color and this could be a blue. And um, yeah, what, one more light I'll just uh, for where I think the stage area is gonna be. And set that up as red. Cool, that's looking good. So now um, I just need to uh, get this, get the shader working. So I'll go into my materials and um, I've got my uh, my shader graph shader and apply that you can see some artifacts and that is that is re related to how the textures like blend together but we haven't actually added the textures to the shader graph yet so uh, the next step is to just uh, sort of hook up the actual um, texture maps so I'll, I'll open up the, uh, the texture map browser so the, the first texture uh, this is this is uh, the base texture and so uh, this is the texture that shows up with the uh, default black so I've got this like this concrete shader and also uh, the next thing is to hook up its associated normal map yeah for a, a really nice aesthetic I sort of really wanted to use normal maps so, so this is the uh, the red texture. Now the red texture is the one that's linked to the height map. So this is actually like, I've, it's like sort of paving uh, tiles and the, and the height map rec represents the cracks. So the idea is that the other textures will sort of filter into the cracks in that pavement based on the, on the, uh, the height map. So again, um, I'll put that, that, so that's the, the height map that I've um, added. You can see that, you can see that component there called like red height can already see how the textures are blending together and um, lastly I've got one extra texture like a dirt texture and um, it, I'll, uh, I'll just put that in the bottom that's got also got associated normal map and 
um, I've, I've given that that's actually got a, an extra parameter so I can like uh, darken it and that's just like uh, essentially affected, uh, affected by a multiply mode yep so each of the channels it, um, I can I can affect because because of the way I set up the uh, universal texture mapping the UV mapping we can each of the different layers we can uh, have independent UV tiling so I can make sure that the uh, the scaling of the tiles is right for the effect that we want. So uh, there are other parameters as well. This uh, this blend amount that's uh, that is about um, how much of the uh, the textures come through compared to the height map. So that's a really nice control to have. Uh, where a value of zero means that the entire base texture is all you can see but uh, and we can sort of we can grade that completely it's almost like it's like concrete filling the cracks is the idea and uh, that, that there's my uh, my darken for the uh, the dirt layer the uh, the green channel's got an extra darken uh, node on like a slider and uh, lastly uh, well, when we've got once we've got the, the tiling sorted out, we can um, set up the, the strength of the normal maps. So just uh, tw final tweaks there on the uh, on the on the, on the tiling. We've got that tiling sort of just about the sort of the right effect I want. But we haven't got the normal maps coming through. So uh, the the normal map um, parameters, I've got I've got um, I've got set up on this parameter called strength. So I've just increased the strength there on the uh, on the base layer, and you can you can see that's like a, making a big difference. It's giving us what we want out of um, a PBR uh, workflow. There, I can adjust in that darkness just to get the the right level of sort of darkness and sort of filth in the corners. So um, uh, yeah. We've got we've got lo lots of control. We can really play around with that blend until we get the, the right amount of like concrete sort of, and dirt like filling the gaps. And and that is our three lead shader. Yeah, if you like this, um, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I will see you next time.